we go through our presentation today, we've got some Year 7s who can speak to you about what it's actually like because they've done it this year. We've got some dancers to perform for you, we've got some singers and we've also got one of our uh, college leaders, Philip, who's going to talk to you about the opportunities to be a leader that exists for you at St John's as well. And with the house leaders, it's more or less for the sporting, sporting side of things as well as um, all the college sort of stuff, the help out at um, athletics events, all that sort of stuff. Um, they're there for you as well. Um, I know a lot of year sevens and eights at the moment that come up and talk to me, asking for advice and all that, so they're always there for you, so don't be shy to come up and talk to them. It's like going into a completely new world. You don't know where you're going, and you have a lot of classes in one day. You can have up to six classes in a day. Um, you have to get used to one class, another teacher, every time you go to another class, and new kids and things. Um, as soon as you get there, you pretty much get paired up with a buddy and allocated to a homeroom and your buddy just helps you with your locker. Um, they help, they show you around if you get lost and yeah, they can be quite open to it. But it's pretty cool because they're really nice to me. So, like two months, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's really fun. I love first couple of days because you meet more people and you make new friends. Yeah. And you came from Holy Family, didn't yes, you? Yes, I came from So, was it, was it a bit scary at first coming from a very small school to a very big school? Yeah. Yeah? But it was okay in the end? Yeah. December, it's an orientation day. So on that day, you'll come to about 1.30, 2 o'clock. And what you'll do there is you'll get to meet your house coordinator. Hopefully you'll get to meet your homeroom teacher. But generally that there might be some school classes going on. But the best thing about that day, you get to meet some of the other students from all the other schools and you'll get to meet the students in your homeroom and you'll also get to have a bit of a taste of what life at secondary school is like. You'll get to know where your house area is. Phil mentioned before that each of the different houses are in a slightly different building of the school. So you'll get to know where your locker is, where your homeroom is, um, you'll get to meet your coordinator and you'll also have a timetable to practice for the next year. You'll have about five different classes that day. You might do some English, you might do some maths, some sport, if you're lucky enough to do some woodwork or food, do a little bit of cooking on that day and you also get a tour of the school. So on that day that you come, it'll be like a mini um, first day at school. So you'll have a bit of a, a, bit of a feel what it'll be like on, on when you start next year and for the next year. I will allocate you to the particular house, okay? And you have filled in your teachers that might have asked you um, a friend that you might like to have in your class. Okay, and I'll try and do that for your homeroom. It might be quite possible in your homeroom, but certainly in your your normal classes set class we talked about. So you'll know that when you come in December, you'll know which house and which homeroom you're in. For some of you that was a very good thing, wasn't it? Having a planner and a timetable to stick to. And that's why it's good to have a buddy to help you out with that. And instead we do a lot of work with teaching the kids you know, how to organise themselves and how to, how to use a planner, but that's very, very important, trying to be as organised as you can be. Um, dance, you can study as a subject now at St John's when you hit year nine, and um, from next year you'll be able to do it at year 10 as well. You can choose to do it as a subject. There are, another, um, there are a couple of other opportunities that if you're interested in dancing, how you can um, be involved with that. You can be involved in things like the talent quest and the production, and also like these three if you wanted to, you could be part of um, their hip hop team. Um. Um, today St John's have come and spoken to our grade 6 students and it was a, a really good experience for our children to, to see and hear from the students of St John's about what life in a secondary school is like. So it's our hope that the children after today will feel a bit more comfortable about transition into Year 7 and they'll know a little bit more about what life is like at St John's and also about life in a secondary school. So we think it's a really worthwhile experience. It's my pleasure to welcome you all here this morning. It's um, certainly great to see so many people here, certainly so many people from different um, communities, from different schools, not just St John's. So you're all very welcome to St John's Regional College. 
and I thank Tick, I'll thank him later on, but I thank Tick for the enormous amount of work that he's also put into this morning to put this together. And I'm sure you're very happy, Tick, that yes, so many people have, a, have arrived. You, as parents and guardians, are coming together today ready to have an honest and a constructive discussion. I hope you will be able to come up with ideas, solutions, and strategies that may benefit the students in the schools as well as the Australian society and the Sudanese community in general. What I thought about this issue is that if they adapt to, to control the this, if they can if they can do their homework, they can reduce the watching of the TVs and they can adapt to the culture of the patient and and this freedom get balance between um, the uh, former ones, they can adapt, they can know more about it. So we put this as the prior ones. There is just an insight, and firewood here are teachers. And who are three stone? Authority, community, and VTAs. VTAs means Foreign Teachers Association. And what we are doing here is Foreign Teachers Association. Make them together regarding relations. Okay. When all these things are put together, it's for asking who is doing what in order the school to make good functions. It's relations. Who's doing well? Important of everybody to make the school successful is for everybody, not the teacher alone, not the school authority alone, no the community. Is to pick them together. Okay. On top of the whole, uh, there's a stick there which says external support. What do we mean by that? Is to get support from where? From government. We need the policy that can make the, the school the successful, uh, the safety, the policy funding, license technology trainings of the teachers and others, safety procedures and policy, all come together where authority of the school may link with the external support to get funding to the school, to get material to the school, to get whatever make the school successful. These are the occasions where you can ask questions and you can find the answers. And your, your, student, uh, your children will benefit from being able to see the range of options that are available for them once they do leave school. All this together help them to understand how they can write an essay, how they can think, and how they can put their ideas. And then when they went to the, to the mainstream classes, still we are supporting them in the, main, in the mainstream classes with the English. And there's, uh, Actually, uh, ESL classes they go to, and they go to their main uh, other subjects classes.